Hi, accountant. Yes, boss. Now that I've set up my company profile, I should be able to get started with QuickBooks Online, right? You just need a few more steps to get started. We'll start by creating some new accounts in your chart of accounts, followed by creating new products and services, and also your vendors. Okay, how should we get started? We're now going to create two new accounts, one revenue account and another expense account. To create a new account in your chart of accounts, click on the company tab and you'll see your list of accounts. Click on the new button at the bottom right of the screen. A mini interview window will appear to assist you in choosing the right type of account you wish to set up. Since we are creating a new income account, select Revenue and click Next. Hmm, now I see another window. I shall now select my type of revenue account. Sales of Product Revenue. Done! Now you need to name your account and click Finish. Wow, that's so easy! How do I create my expense account then? Just like how we create income account. We click New, select Expense and click Next. Then I select the type of expense and click Next. Oh look! There was definition on the right to help me as I go along. It's so easy! Yes boss! Now you have to put a name to the account. When done, Click Finish. Hey, I'm getting very good at this. It's so user-friendly. I'm glad you're enjoying this, boss. Okay, now let's create a new product. Okay, show me how. To input products and services, click on the Customer tab and More. At the drop-down menu, select Products and Services list. You'll come to the Products and Services window. Click New to add your products and services. You will see a Products and Services information window. There are two columns. The left column is for your sales information and the right column is your purchasing information. Okay, what should I do next? You can select the purchasing information tick box and add the name of the product in the description box. Then set the purchase and selling prices. Keep in mind that both prices have to defer because... Because that's my gross profit. <laughs> that's right. Each time you add a new product, you need to create an income account for your sales. Click on the drop box at the income account area and select the appropriate income account. Done! What do I do on the purchasing information section on the right? Just like how we linked our sales information to the income account, we click on the drop box at the expense account and select the appropriate expense account for this item. Hmm. Okay, my expense account has been tagged and I'm going to save it now. Now, QuickBooks Online will go back to the Product and Services list window. The product that you have added is on the list now. Is that all? Yep, you've successfully created a new item. Wasn't that easy? Oh, wow, that's so simple. Is there anything else I need to do? One last step. You'll have to add the vendor or supplier to your list. Click on the Suppliers tab and click on the New button. This one is easy. I fill in my supplier's information. Once done, I save it. The screen will be refreshed and a blank form will appear. Oh, that means the form has been saved to QuickBooks Online successfully. Just click on the Suppliers tab and you'll see the name of the supplier. That's it? Yes!